Hello everybody, so this is a very quick episode of fragrance. Um, as you know, I like to do first impressions of each of the fragrances that I receive, that I experience. And in this case, I don't have my computer in front of me to do the structure that I usually do. Um, so I thought, nevertheless, I want to film my first experience. And then if I have to do a proper <laughs> first experience, we'll do knowing, uh, you know, in the computer what the ingredients are. So today we have here a chant for the nymphs by Gucci. Now, uh, a while back, I went to the store where they have the whole arrangement of the Gucci fragrances, the niche uh, fragrances, and I really like them. I really love them. They're expensive, but they're big bottles. Uh, well, they're expensive like all the niche fragrances, right? So, but they have such a variety. And so I thought, I, I really liked them all. I, I think I tried like three or four and I was like, I want them all. And then I got confused which one I really like. So that's why I ordered, uh, I'm gonna be ordering one by one, all of them and see. <laughs> so let's try it out, let's try it out. I don't have what the ingredients are or what's going on with it. So I'll do a proper one, but. Oh, ooh, okay. So. It's delicious. It smells a little bit lavender. So this one's remind me a lot of um, clean and elegant and boho. Like I see immediately a big windows, double windows. One of those that you open the door and you, you see the white curtain kind of flowing out and, and you feel refreshed and clean with sort of a I breathe no care in the world. This beautiful feminine, open uh, sort of elegance to it. So I immediately saw myself opening this up. I don't know in a in a place in the Mediterranean, high up. I don't know. I I saw it in Italy, but might as well be Greece, one of the islands, or one of the islands from Spain although they might be a little crowded, but some of the non so crowded ones, you know, uh, because I felt a lot of freedom, not a lot of uh, people around, just openness. And uh, he, he reminded me of who is this writer? Uh, not because he's a painter, but there's this other writer that uh, lived in a sort of a, a villa up in the mountains in that area that I'm describing. What was his name? Neruda, Neruda. Uh, so he's a poet and, uh, and so he used to describe and, and how he liked to, to sit there and write uh, in this kind of places. So I don't have the computer in front of me to know this is described for man and for woman and all of these things, but immediately I think of a woman, I don't think of a male. Of course, both can wear it, but because it has this white floral, it, it is the opening and the nature and the clean and the, um, my God, this is so lovely. Uh, I wish I could tell you all the top notes, the middle notes, the bass notes, because I have so much fun with it. Uh, but I gave you at least the visual that I got. Now, who is this for and for what? So today I'm gonna go and run errands. I'm gonna go and cut my hair. I'm gonna go and, you know, it's not a super special, but I think this was perfect. That's why I pulled it out because um, I thought that it would be this freshness and clean and, and not uh, invasive. It's very, it's not understated because you can smell it. Uh, but it doesn't invade other space. So probably if they come close to me or maybe some lingering uh, will be there, but, uh, but it's not that invasive, but I can smell it straight forward. So probably has some jasmine, I would guess, um, because jasmine usually is, is one of those flowers that I can see cuts through everything. But not only jasmine, because it, it has a, um, an overall effect. I call it very feminine effect because jasmine to me is very masculine within the white flowers, you know, because I always feel it, it kind of 
goes straight in and, and, and you get it. But this one is done in a way that really holds you, which I really like. And I usually get that from roses, when there's rose in the fragrance. I don't know if it has rose. Um, but I get that feeling of wrapping itself in femininity in, in this beautiful um, cloud. Uh, so it has a wholeness, a wholeness, and it, it does make me want to straight up high. And, and I love that about fragrances. It's this elegance and then this femininity and then this relaxation because I do feel my shoulders kind of go back and then you can walk, you know, like a queen. It's sort of like if you had one of those long dresses and, and you're walking and it has a tail or a train, no, a short one, not, not a, a big heavy one. But um, so there you have it, it's two things, right? When you open the door and you can be in a, in a silk pajamas, I immediately saw white, which I never would buy <laughs> white silk pajamas, but that's what I saw myself. And <laughs> so, very feminine, very casual, but elegant, uh, but no care in the world. Um, so do I see it for youngsters? Yes, it's not super sweet like youngsters usually prefer. So in that sense, it's a little more mature, um, but it's very lovely. Uh, so it's elegant. It's mature without being heavier or full of wisdom or, you know, no, it's light and, and sweet, but without being sweet young, um, it's just sweet and light. And um, so you can wear it really every day. You can wear it to a special event. I wouldn't say like a all made out event, which you could, but I wouldn't. I would look for a little heavier fragrance for that occasion. Uh, just to match all the other accessories. And I don't mean just things that you add, but the makeup, the dress, you know. This one is very light and easy. And um, of course you can wear if you were wearing shorts and a t-shirt, of course. I, I think I would choose a little more sporty or fun sort of fragrance for that. But if you're just going for a luncheon, meeting friends, uh, running errands, a uh, sunny dress, a little more elegant if you want. I see a hat with the sunglasses because I do feel that vacationing, vacationing, but not vacationing running around, vacationing in that villa, in that outdoor scene, in that you walk at your own pace, in that you laugh, <laughs> uh, you have a nice light meal um, and nice. Nice. I don't know if I will go shopping with this because I don't feel there's a lot of citruses that make you uh, go into action. You know that citruses to me is like upbeat and positive and going. White florals are more opening. I'm connected with nature. I even hear the birds in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. <laughs> it's cloudy today. Yeah, you can hear them. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. It's so perfect for the fragrance. So would I buy this bottle? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And I will buy a big bottle of one of these Gucci ones. I'm gonna go one by one and then I'll choose. Uh, but definitely because very, very, very lovely. It reminds me, I wouldn't say, okay, not the fragrance itself, but the feeling itself of gardenia, of uh, Chanel's exclusives of La Pausa, although La Pausa is a little more calming. Um, but in that arena of, um, but the Gardenia from this exclusive channel, you know, in that, it doesn't smell like it because it doesn't smell like Gardenia. But that kind of um, very, maybe, maybe it has some Gardenia because I don't have the ingredients here, but it reminds me of that, um, I describe a little more jasmine because it's straightforward, but maybe it can be combined with gardenia. Uh, I'll definitely list the ingredients down below. I apologize for that. Uh, but nevertheless, I wanted to share with you my first impression with it. So this is, uh, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap it up then. Thank you so much for watching. If, um, if you like what you see and it's useful or entertaining, 
or uh, just want to join in, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please comment down below. Do you have this fragrance? Have you smelled any of the Gucci fragrances? And um, which one is your favorite? Because I am uh, in that search and exploration. And please ring the bell on the right hand corner. Uh, thumbs up and all that jazz. All right. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.